All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for tutorial here. And uh, on this hole, you know, I kind of have an advantage. I, I usually play this very close to max. I might use maybe maybe plus 5%, especially with a, uh, you know, the accuracy of Thor's hammer. In this situation, I have an advantage. But just keep in mind, if you um, copy my plus 5%, use the max club number, you'll be able to kind of replicate what I'm about to do. What I recommend recommend for most, most wins here is we're going to do a rough bump. It's going to give us the best chance to, you know, very consistently wind up perfect. But that's also well done as well, but I can still beat it. And, uh, you know, it is going to be, you know, very hard to beat your opponent when they stick it in like that, unless, you know, you do go for this rough bump. So this is the best shot for this whole, no question about it. So you can see that I'm almost going to go six rings and speed wise right around three backspin more or less. And you can see that it's just kind of off to the side a little bit, which means that we're going to need some curl. So aside from that, you know, 5.5 rings, just as I mentioned, I might pull it back just marginally towards the right because it'll tend to over launch just slightly. And as I mentioned, you know, we are going to need this curl. Ah, that great ball is going to take me out of it. <clears throat> so you'll probably see that it's going to shoot over towards the left too much. And since my opponent did hit a uh, quality shot, I'm just not going to be able to beat it. Uh, perfect ball. I would have been, you know, right on the hole and I would have took that. So that's the difference. And, uh, you know, good luck, guys, and catch you guys on the next one.